Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Karuna and today I'm going to show you how to prepare puffed rice laddu. It's one of the quickest and the simplest recipe. So let's take a look at the ingredients and let's get started. We'll need 4 cups of puffed rice, half cup of water, half cup jaggery, 1 fourth teaspoon dry ginger powder, 1 tablespoon ghee and a fat pinch of ground nutmeg. In order to prepare jaggery syrup for the laddus, heat a pan on a medium to low flame, add in half cup jaggery, pour in just enough water so that it covers the top of the jaggery. It will usually be less than half the cup which you have already taken. Give this a good mix so that all the jaggery melts completely. We have to let this mixture boil on a medium to low flame until we get a soft ball consistency or a one string consistency. So I'll simply let this mixture boil for some time. While our jaggery syrup is boiling, on another stove, I'll simply dry roast the puffed rice along with the dry ginger powder and the nutmeg for about 5 minutes. First I'll add the puffed rice and I'll roast this on a medium to low flame for about a minute or two. After about a minute, turn the heat to its lowest setting, add in the dry ginger powder and the ground nutmeg. Continue to mix this for about 2 to 3 minutes. Make sure you are roasting this on the lowest heat setting that is available. After about 3 to 4 minutes, turn off the flame and let this mixture cool for some time before we add in the jaggery syrup. After about 8 minutes, looks like the mixture is completely boiled. It also has got a nice one string consistency. In order to check for the one string consistency, we can just take a tiny bit of syrup between two fingers and stretch it. And if there is a string, that, then that means that the syrup is ready and we can turn off the flame. Once you have the jaggery syrup ready, pour the hot syrup over the puffed rice. Pour the jaggery syrup while it's still hot and mix this immediately using a ladle. Just don't put your hands directly because the jaggery syrup will be very hot and it might burn your hand. Once the mixture cools completely, keep an extra plate. Take about approximately 2 tablespoons of puffed rice and jaggery mixture and put it on this plate. Basically, you are taking so much mixture with which you want to prepare the laddu. And let this mixture cool again before we finally form our laddus. Now slightly grease your palm with some ghee and give this laddus a proper round shape. This mixture has to cool down completely before you start making these laddus. Otherwise trust me you will have all the puffed rice sticking to your hand even though you have greased your palm. This is the last one for which I am forming the laddu. Even after greasing your hands with ghee, if you are not able to make laddus easily and if you still have puffed rice all over, you can lightly apply some water and just press it down a bit and you will be able to make laddus easily. Using 4 cups of puffed rice, we will be able to prepare approximately 18 to 20 laddus of this size. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you ever try out this recipe, please let me know how it turns out. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.